Instead of challenging your brain, you start doing things that make you feel good or simple. And then you wonder why you can't focus on your work on a daily basis. You've conditioned your brain to prefer comfort, but discomfort is where growth occurs. Here are 10 simple tricks to your brain to like hard things. 10. Stay healthy instead of giving into cravings. It's amazing how just thinking about cupcakes can make you want them. Don't acquiesce to cravings simply because your brain has tricked you. Serve healthy food before unhealthy food, for example, to satisfy your hunger or associate a healthy habit such as exercising with something you do every day. The more positive things you can reward your brain for, the less it'll crave the positive reward for something you know isn't good for you. 9. Distract yourself Still can't seem to get rid of the sadness? Direct your energy towards something completely unrelated to this thought or situation. Change your focus to a different project or get up and move to a different room. Make an effort to think about something completely different. Once your brain is totally immersed in a new task, it will be unable to focus on the negative thought. 8. Make your day last longer instead of wondering where it went. No matter how productive you are during the day, there never seems to be enough hours before bedtime. Part of this is because of how our brains perceive time. Fortunately, you can turn this around. The more information your brain has to process, the longer it feels like time has passed. So, to make the day feel longer, keep your brain stimulated with new information on a regular basis. Continue to learn, meet new people, visit new places, or learn a new skill. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. 7. Get stuff done instead of procrastinating Your brain doesn't want you to complete tasks. It's constantly concerned about what could go wrong and will abandon ship at the first sign of trouble, making it difficult to achieve your objectives. Fortunately, you can trick your brain into getting more done by using simple tricks such as changing the lighting or playing unfamiliar music and a fresh perspective on your goals like focusing on the long-term benefits. You can overcome your brain's bad choices if you treat it like any other involuntary bad habit. 6. Make friends instead of enemies It's difficult to give someone the benefit of the doubt when they've wronged you. It's easier to simply make an enemy of them. When this isn't in your best interests, such as if the person is your boss or your sister's boyfriend, you can trick your brain into liking them. Try working on a difficult task with that person to help you bond. And if it's them who don't like you, you can trick their brain into liking you by asking them for a favor. 5. Concentrate on the positive rather than the negative Have you ever had one small thing ruin your entire day? That's your brain playing a trick on you once more. Our minds prefer to dwell on the negative. It can even persuade you to dislike something you enjoy. Don't let it ruin your day. Remember that one small problem or a bad start doesn't equal bad day. Make your brain remember the positive memories rather than the negative ones and you'll remember them more fondly. Though negative thinking isn't always a bad thing. 4. Base your decision on reality instead of optimism. However, there's some exceptions to your brain's negativity. When you're looking forward to something or want something badly, your brain does the opposite. It becomes overly optimistic. It's why anticipation makes you happier than the outcome or why you think you'll win the lottery but smoking will kill you. Don't fall for this ruse because it'll lead to bad decisions. Similarly, don't confuse the number of options with the importance of any given option such as the brand of toothpaste you buy. Your brain tends to believe the two are intertwined when they clearly are not. 3. Save money instead of blowing it Save money is more difficult than it should be. We all know we should do it, but as soon as we get some money, we think to ourselves, look at all this money I can spend. This is due to our mind's proclivity to forget what it was like to be impoverished. It also doesn't help that stores try to trick your brain into buying things. What is the solution? Trick your brain into developing better financial habits. Adopt new money mantras and repeat them repeatedly so your brain is unable to tempt you. Automatically transfer funds to a savings account. But most importantly, consider where the money should be spent rather than simply thinking, I should save or I shouldn't waste it. It's much easier when you have a specific goal in mind. 2. Realize that the world doesn't revolve around you It's unexpected that our brain forces to be self-centered, but this can be harmful. For example, you may believe that you're never wrong, that you're excellent at everything you do, that bad things just happen to you and that other lanes of traffic are always moving faster than yours. The reality is that most of this is completely false. Unfortunately, your brain tricks you in this area, but you can't really trick it back. 
The best thing you can do is to be aware of these phenomena so that you don't fall victim to them as frequently. 1. Ask questions about reality. Convert the thought into a question and then attempt to answer it. Now let's get back to the idiot thing. Rather than telling yourself, I'm an idiot, ask yourself, am I an idiot? Look for the solution. Bernstein claims that you won't find any supporting evidence because negative thoughts aren't grounded in reality. Next, look for answers to refute the question. You'll most likely come across a slew of examples that demonstrate you're not a moron. Build yourself up with evidence that everything you do is not stupid. Your brain is a wondrous thing, but it's far from perfect. It occasionally forgets important details such as an overdue dentist appointment or a client meeting. Or it may fail to notice important things in your environment, causing you to make mistakes that could cause you to be hurt, put you at risk of illness, or simply be annoying. You know how it goes if you've ever forgotten where you parked your car and spent what seemed like an eternity looking for it. There is no way to avoid all of these potential issues, but being aware of some of the biases, perceptual flaws, and memory tricks to which your brain is prone can help. Have you tried any of these tricks before? Let us know in the comments if this is the case. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. To ensure that you never miss an update from this channel, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon. Bye guys, have a good day.